love fam welcome or welcome back to my channel yes i've been gone for a bit of a long time but i'm officially back and the reason for that is i haven't really had a bunch of time to make youtube videos and i haven't really been feeling motivated to make anything but i am back thank you guys so much for 60,000 subscribers that really means a lot to me i think we gained like 10,000 subscribers while the time i was gone Secondly, yesterday was the last day of school for me, so it's officially summer and I'll be having a lot more time to make videos for you guys. I missed all of you and today we're going to be learning how to make a jumbo 3D paper squishy popsicle. Don't forget to drop all of your video suggestions down in the comment section because I need to get some ideas on what you guys want to see next. So let's just get started in today's tutorial. Today you'll be needing paper, a pencil, scissors, coloring supplies, tape, a white gel pen if you have it, and any type of stuffing to fill up your paper squishy. I'm just using this pillow stuffing that you can find in Amazon or Walmart, and it's called Polyfill. I actually sharpened my pencil a little bit because it was getting pretty dull, but we're gonna start to sketch out the basic shape of the popsicle. All right, so I'm gonna start out by drawing out the basic shape of the little popsicle. I'm gonna make it pretty jumbo because it's a jumbo 3D paper squishy tutorial. So I think I'm gonna make it like that size. Once we have the top of our popsicle sketched out, we're gonna start to make the little popsicle stick at the bottom. So it's gonna go right here in the middle and then make a little curve and draw a straight line up. After that's done, we're gonna start to make the details on the popsicle. You can make any details you want. So for me, I'm gonna do a little drizzle at the top. So I'm gonna start to do this little thing right here, then go down. And then another one. And then a big one down here. Then I think I wanna make my popsicle fruit themed, so I'm gonna draw some strawberry slices. Yeah, I'm gonna draw one more up here. I'm just gonna be taking this thin black marker and going through everything. Once you're done with outlining your sketch, you're gonna wanna go and erase all of the little pencil marks that are around the marker. Once we're done outlining, we're gonna take our colors and start coloring it in. Oh, and you guys, I love how the coloring turned out. I think it looks super realistic and I love the little shadows. So now we're gonna take our clear packaging tape and we're just gonna laminate the drawing. Now let's cut it out. Once you cut out the popsicle, you're gonna wanna turn it around and get another piece of paper, place it down, get your pencil again and trace it to make the backside. Once the popsicle is traced out, we're going to want to color it similar. I'm just not gonna add the strawberry details on the back. I'm just gonna do the little drizzle, the popsicle stick, and the pink. Once you're done with that, they should look like this, and when you put them together, they should align pretty nicely. And if there's a little bit hanging over, you can just cut that. But after that, 
we're going to get some of the extra paper we used, like let's say this piece of paper. And we're going to now do the side of the popsicle. So what I always do is I go to the edge and fold it up. I think I want my popsicle to be about, not really thick. So maybe like this much. And then just fold it over, make sh making sure like these sides are together like that. And then we're going to want to color it. I'm going to color it all pink and then a little bit of brown to be the drizzle part. So to get the right spot to where the brown is gonna begin, I'm just going to mark where it's going to start. Then I'm going to wrap it around like this, just to get like the approximate size. And I'm just going to mark where the other chocolate ends. So I'm going to color this part brown and then these two ends pink i'm gonna color laminate and cut out this piece of paper and i'll see you guys in a little bit okay guys so i finally have the three pieces for our popsicle paper squishy so i haven't laminated it yet but i'm just going to laminate it while i tape the sides so basically um i'm just going to start out by taping it right here just placing it right here. And as you can see, it perfectly lines up to the chocolate drizzle. And if you make like a strawberry vanilla drizzle or maybe like a mint chocolate chip drizzle, you can match it up as well and it'll look super cute. But next, you're just going to want to keep taping it around. I then just go in with smaller pieces of tape and just start connecting them together just like that and before you do all of that i'm going to take my scissors and actually i'm gonna just snip the little popsicle stick off of the popsicle because we're just going to make the little popsicle part 3d and then we're going to just tape on the popsicle because i think it's a little bit easier because realistically the popsicle is a 3d part and then the popsicle stick is just 2d so we're just going to take the two popsicle sticks and glue them together and then just tape it on when our final product is complete so we're just going to start to tape everything together and I think this strip is not going to be long enough to cover the whole thing and the bottom so you can make um, another piece and just connect it. Alright guys, so I have finished taping the whole side around and I left this little opening for the stuffing. So I'm just going to start to put in the little stuffing. This is polyfill, if you guys were wondering. And you can also use plastic bags. I think those are the second best option because I used to use those a lot when I started making paper squishies. I used like those Walmart or like HEB plastic bags and they work pretty great. And I'm just gonna take some more of the polyfill. So just finish up filling up your squishy and tape it up. So this is how the final squishy turned out. I love it how it is right now, but as you guys know, we still have our little last step, which is the popsicle sticks. But this squishy is so satisfying, guys. It's like super airy. And I think I taped it pretty good this time. It's like really satisfying to play with. And I love the colors. So now we're going to take our little popsicle sticks, which is this one first. And I think I'm just gonna place it right here in the front of it. So we're just gonna take a little piece of tape and I'm just gonna place it right here. Oh, right here on the front. And oh my gosh, guys, that is so cute. It might be a little flimsy, but you can obviously like make it a little thicker by adding more pieces and I'm just going to tape this one right on top. Okay guys, so this is the final paper squishy. I absolutely love how it turned out. It's so cute and here is the back. And here's the front. I love the little strawberry slices. And this popsicle stick is a little less flimsy because I stacked a few pieces of paper and it looks pretty cute too. 
Like, I think it's so adorable and super stress relieving. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and maybe tried to make this paper squishy at home. Before you go, make sure you are subscribed and like the video if you enjoyed it and comment down below some other suggestions that you guys might want to see on my channel. Bye!